Hey there. In my class, we've got a test coming up tomorrow, but uh, just because you're not in my class doesn't mean this might not be valuable for you, okay? We're working on simplifying expressions and uh, all kinds of different ways to do that. Let's get straight to work on this study guide that I handed out today. Okay, is this your video answer key, basically? You'll have questions like this on a test. We're going to write two equivalent expressions. So that's what the boxes are for. And keep in mind, I'm just giving you the easy ones. That's the, those are the only ones I'm doing. So if you come up with some different ones, hey, send it back to me as a comment or ask me, hey, Mr. W, is that one right? And I will answer that for you, okay? But let's take the easy ones first. We're going to pull a factor out of this, in which case uh, 4 is the simplest one to do. 4 times what equals 4x? And 4 times something equals negative 24. And you answer those two questions to fill the parentheses. Okay. Another very simple way to do this is we could do 2 as a factor. 2 times what equals 4x? 2 times 2x equals 4x. And 2 times something equals negative 24. There we go. Okay, and just so you know, the way you're going to check your work, I'll just do one of these, is you take the answer you created and go ahead and simplify it. So 2 times 2x, in this case, is 4x. 2 times negative 12 is negative 24. Does that match? And the answer is yes. Okay, so there's always a way to check your work on these problems, and please do that with yours especially if they don't match the ones I'm coming up with here. Here I'm going to pull a negative 3 out as a factor. Negative 3 times x makes negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 4 makes a positive 12. Remember that same sign, positive answer. Okay. I could also pull a positive 3 out of there. Right? Positive 3 times negative x equals negative 3x, and positive 3 times positive 4, of course. Now remember, there's lots of different answers here, so don't get bummed out if yours does not match. Okay, and remember, at any point here, like you could pause the video right now and do these last two problems, and then let it roll and compare our answers. I think that's the best way to do this. Okay, so do that at any time. Here comes a couple more answers for you. Uh, 4 times 2x equals 8x. And 4 times what equals negative 20? Well, if you're not sure about the negative part, 4 times what equals 20? 5, right? And we're just going to slap the negative sign in there. Because we need opposite signs to get a negative answer. Okay, let's do another one. How about with twos? We're going to pull a two factor out of there. Two times something equals 8x, right? 4x. And two times negative 10 makes negative 20. I can't tell you this enough. There's lots of different answers, okay? Don't think that just because I wrote it makes them the only correct answers. There's lots of answers here. Okay, this one is kind of the other way around. We need to uh, maybe simplify this. So, this is the same as saying uh, 4 plus 4 times 2x plus 2, right? Because same sign, positive answer. And then if I simplify this, 4 plus 8x plus 8 makes 8x plus 12. And I'm going to write that up here. And then once I have that simplified answer, now it's just like these other ones. I could pull a 4 out of there, perhaps, and do it that way. OK, let's move on to the next section. Remember, just send me a comment or a message if you've got an answer and you're not sure if it's right or not, because there are just so many. There's so many here. OK, let's move down to the bottom and check these uh, potential test questions out. Simplify these expressions. 
use multiplication and the distributive property to eliminate all parentheses. Then combine like terms, put them in order of power, and show your steps. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video here so you can copy these down and give it a go. When you come back, let's check your work. Welcome back. Here we go. First, I'm going to just simplify everything possible to get rid of parentheses. Remember, distribution gets rid of them through multiplication. The negative 6 is just going to come down. And 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. Now I'm going to combine like terms. There's my x's. And positive 20 and negative 6 makes positive 14. Did you get that? Nice job. Okay, let's do the next one. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Negative 2 times negative 2x. Same sign, positive answer. That makes a positive 4x. Negative 4x. We're going to combine like terms, put all the x's together. That makes a big 0. So the answer is negative 12. How'd you do there? Here's a question for you. Green or blue? Okay. Green it is. Negative 6. Now we're going to do some distribution. Lots of negative signs. Don't be afraid. Same sign, positive answer. And again, same sign, positive answer. Combine like terms. I've only got one x term here. The rest are all numbers. Negative 6, negative 6 makes negative 12 and positive 8. So that makes negative 4 when it's all done. Six plus six x, and then there's another eight, and there's another six. That looks a whole lot like the last problem, doesn't it? Except they're all positives. Six, twelve, twenty. Here's something to think about. Did you think this one was way easier than this one? Why do you think that is? Or were they the same? Interesting. All right, I'm going to go blue now, and then this one's going to be done. We'll go to the next video after this. I'll make a separate video for the backside because it deals with fractions and coefficients. Okay. Whoops, I don't want that pen. That's an old one. There's a new one. There's distribution happening. I'm going to combine like terms. Letters first, then numbers. 8x minus 22. Double check that. 4x, negative 12, negative 10, positive 4x. Yep, that's right. Okay, this one here, I wonder if that confused you at all. I hope not, because it's just uh, three numbers multiplied together. You can do them in any order you want to. So I could say negative 10x times 3, which would be negative 30x. And then here I've got negative 6x and negative 12. Negative 36x minus 12. Okay, this first bit you could do in different order, right? You could go 15x times negative 2. Guess what? You'll still end up with that negative 30. All right. That was side one of the practice test. Hope that went well for you. Uh, I'm going to stick a link in here at the end of this video so you can just click forward and go to the next one if you want to continue. Thanks for watching. See you later.